No. Hello and welcome to Starfinder no. the Fragments <laughs> of Eternity Session 27 Part 2. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 15th of July 2019. Here are the players. Hi, I'm Nico. I play Zora, the vest captain. Hex. Nope, sorry. I'm not eating, you're eating. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Alex. I have played Nix5, the android mechanic. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. You may remember me from such <laughs> films as Man vs. Nature, The Path to Victory. I'm actually Colin, though, and I'm playing <laughs> like a Quint. He's sneaky, he's spooky. Colin, though. He on the case. <laughs> Hi. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, no, go on. Please, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. We Hi. can just. Okay. I'm Callum. I don't mind. I'm no. on Valium. Introduce, <laughs> introduce them. Hi. I'm Callum. And today I'll be playing. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> It's oddly arousing, isn't it? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As you say, misery uh, loves company. Um, Here is my new my new ASMR coming soon. Is it just called coming soon? Yeah. Spitballs <laughs> coming home. Uh, anyway, that was Callum. He's playing Zig. He's a mystic space rat, and here we are. I'm a mystical two. space rat, and I'm playing it, and I'm, 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 I'm here for part two. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, we are on standard form, as everybody knows. Excuse me, and why change a good thing? Ah. Yeah, but can we change this? To a good thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so, next, five. Yes. Got <laughs> uh, any of those other ones? No. I believe you're in a uh, white space, as it were. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you're standing in front of what looks like a more veteran version of you with his uh, platinum stubble and his uh, white hair, white glowing LED eyes, standing on what looks like just like white water. Yeah. Just kind of smiling back at you. Query. And then he just kind of, uh, like, has his, like, fists, like, on his hips, as it were. And kind of turns round, like, to the side as if looking off at something. And then just kind of sighing, kind of, satisfactorily, you know. And then he uh, says, Nix five? Or can I call you five? I prefer Nix 5. And yeah. he's like, of course you do. And kind of sm he's like smiling, like big kind of grin. Big friendly grin. The whole time. Where are we? And he kind of like looks around as if taking in the place for the first time. Like around. And he's like... And he kind of just looks at you and like focuses like one eye on you slightly conspiratorially he's like I think you've made it somewhere in between places can you say in between which places? yeah where you were and he puts like one hand as if gesturing where you were and then where you're going with his other hand and why are you here? Where else would I be? The Lost Spire. That, hmm. That's one place, I guess. It is a place. You're. You're looking for something. Yes. He's kind of pointing. I'm looking. I was trying to help Alice. Which one's Alice? Is that the small one or the tall one? Um, I guess. Suppose was she. Say that again, sorry. 
I can't actually remember what her size. She was like six something. <laughs> Well, the, the battle suit was that she's maybe now like back down to like maybe five eleven by the time her refinements have I taken can... place. So yeah, she's probably the tall one. Yeah, you're 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 quite bad at keeping track of your things. Sorry, I'm breaking up a bit. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, says you're quite. Saying... Let me know when you're back. Hello. Let's do that again. Yeah. So. Alex goes, you're quite bad at keeping track of your things. I believe you lost something last time we met. Yeah, that would be the small one. Um, did you have anything to do with this loss? No. And he's kind of like looking around a bit lost himself. And he's a. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm something later. And he kind of waves his hand vaguely, as he's like looking around at the floor. You know, like as if somebody's looking for their phone or their keys. But there's nothing in this space. There's just like the white water floor, and then the, the nothingness of white around, and that smell of kind of salt air. Uh, can you tell me about this? I think in that next five. Where the the white is starting to grow, and then uh, he kind of looks at it, and maybe this is when you notice you're not in armor or anything in here. <laughs> like you're kind of just in how you would imagine a casual Nix Five, you know. And uh, so you get your sleeves half rolled up. Maybe it's some kind of like overall when you're working on the engine room or something. Like you're kind of lounging overalls, <laughs> and. Uh, he puts like his hands out, um, like open palmed up, just as if put your hands in my hands type vibe, um, as you kind of cross the space between them, assuming you're going to go give him your hands. Sorry, I can't hear you. If you replied. Sorry, yeah, so I would. Yeah, so you walk across, uh, and like as you walk, like there's like the ripples of water that echo into the distance, um, as if the room is a lot closer than what it seems to be, like as if there are walls this sound's hitting off of, but then there definitely aren't walls that you can make out, and um, you walk closer, <laughs> and uh, you put your hands into his, uh, and maybe like, do you want to roll perception for me? Yep. Yeah, you um, a lot of the shapes of the veins, like the digital veining, uh, matches his almost identically. Mm -hmm. And uh, you put your hands like in his, and he kind of like looks them over a little, like just kind of grips like your wrists, turns your hands over, looks at him, like, hmm. And then he uh, says, "Seems like you're a." Uh, What is the word? And he kind of like puts like he's you know, like he's winding his fingers over each other, it's like evolving. It's typical. Don't know yeah. if I'm, I, we don't know if we're getting all your audio, by the way. Huh? So I don't know if I'm getting all your audio. Oh, it's all right. Can you hear me now? Yep. I reposition my mic. Um. And this isn't typical, is it? And he looks at you and like, kind of like squints an eye, like kind of with a cheeky look in his face, and he says, "Depends what you consider typical." And he kind of just like gestures vaguely at the white room. And he says, um, "I'm thinking my typical and your typical are very different." Yes. It certainly isn't typical for an android. He looks, he looks at you and kind of just laughs once. Like, huh. Are you an android expert? Uh, 
And he's like, he's cocked his head slightly with like a big smile. Because, you know, he's not really expecting an answer, if that makes sense. Mm. He kind of like starts rubbing like his hand. Course. He rubs his hand through like his platinum kind of stubble, and then you ask him what's her. Still with us? <laughs> Sorry, I am. I don't know why this is so bad. Are you in the background downloading anything? Uh, uh, I sh Wait, where's Skype? Sorry, sorry, it's just finding itself in. Mm. Um. Sh sh gallons upon gallons of porn. Yes, I measured it in gallons. See what I did there? <laughs> now that's how, how else would you measure it? Exactly. Um, liquid ounces. <laughs> oh, powerful, powerful suggestion. Also, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, ladies. This is a very um, male-centric measurement form, and I will be uh, resigning uh, <laughs> on Twitter tomorrow. Two seconds. I'm going to go shout at any other internet users. Okay. Internet users. That's their call Stop. Now. Just in general. Just screaming to the voice. Everyone, void. <laughs> all internet users. Alex you hangs must. out his window, screams a bit. Hey, internet bitches! <laughs> Upon the rooftop, he yells. Hmm. Internet users, be gone! I thought we couldn't have had the connection issues during the combat. No, not not when we didn't really need heavy dialogue. No, <laughs> just at the heavy dialogue. But she browses. She's a thought. She browses. She browses. Oh, baby. How she downloads, she downloads. Oh, oh users are queens. <laughs> Let's see if this improves. They have been disconnected. Uh -huh. <laughs> they, have, they have found themselves severed from the connection. <laughs> they have. call the Wi Fi <laughs> in history. <laughs> there we go. Um, the I only just picked up on that. <laughs> the Starfinder album will be released uh, when the campaign ends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, can you hear us better now? Most we can. I can hear you. Good, good. Uh, right, so. Um, yeah, so he scratches through his platinum stubble and you're going to ask him something. Yes. Um, ask him, what caused this change? Okay, he looks at you. Uh, again, he's still got his hand kind of scratching at himself. You can hear that kind of metallic kind of plinkling sound um, off his beard. And he's like, Huh. He's got his mouth kind of a little bit open. It's a good question. Any ideas? And he just like poses it to you. You're definitely query and not answer. Um. <laughs> he just he smirks hey. at that. <laughs> I definitely think you're evolving a sense of humour. From what I can tell, next five. Yes, that's. I blame the crowd for that. Hi. I've been running with a sword. Hey! <laughs> Zora claims into white space. <laughs> hey! Wait a minute! <laughs> Zora sneezes. <laughs> um, well, it began around the time I visited you. And hmm. yes, and can I just smirks and he's like, "No, in this you are wrong. It began before. How long before?" And he just kind of smiles. He says, "I believe you're looking for your friend, the tall one." I did ask about her already. And then uh, he kind of just like steps to the side and like in the distance there's like just like a white door frame that kind of like creaks open in that kind of soundless way where the light bleeds in or out one way but you know. There's a doorway that forms in like the nothingness and he kind of looks at you and he's like Now there's where you're going but Here's where you need to be. 
And again, it just points down. Now, I look down. When you look down, the reflection that goes into the water, like the upside down version of you, is Alice. And you see his reflection is you. That's where I need to be. And he just kind of uh, shrugs. Lays his hands out to the side. I'm just here. And he kind of like thumbs himself. And he kind of like, I think maybe like, do you, do you express like this kind of con like frustration or confusion on his, on Nix's face at all or is it blank? Um, I think there's a, an almost theatrical slow blink. Yeah, and I think um, he'll like bridge the gap between you, not that there's much of a gap anyway, and he puts his mm. hand on your shoulder and he just goes, I know, you'll catch up. And then he just kind of smirks. I mean, yeah. And then, like, he steps to the side slightly with, like, his hand on your shoulder, and he just kind of points at the door, like, with like, an open hand. And he's like, well, and he kind of, like, waves at the floor. Go catch up. And he kind of, like, just kind of pushes you a little forward. I guess we have to keep running, then. And... I think if you say that, like, he'll say, like, that we do. And he just kind of nods, like, solemnly. And... Next five makes a run for the door. Cool. So we have um, you heading through the door, and then we cut back to the others. So. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. I'm doing my best to not make another ZZ like yeah. million million split ZZ party. Top. Everybody scroll back to the right. Yeah, scroll to, to the, right. the right. Ah, there we are. Yeah, the scroll right. to the light. You scroll to the light. Alright, so. You're in this place. What do you do? Well, I'll slowly wander by and grab my gun. Mm hmm. Okay. Because, yeah, why not? I grab that. Probably I like rubbing my shoulders because they're a wee bit achy, you know. Uh, do a couple of thumps. Mm -hmm. I should have my character sheet open. That's what Zig does. Were you here for the open conversation the about sheet. the hold in left shift double left click on your token to get your character sheet open? Were you here for that? Wait, what? Yeah. Hold in what? Left shift, then double click left mouse on your token. Oh, magic! I think I was here for that. But How I've good is that, though? Gone. Yeah. Yeah, this was. Oh. I got told this on like episode maybe 115 of Quarter Swords when I was watching it, and I literally sat there going, You've waited 115 episodes to tell me this. <laughs> this could have been so useful in every other game. But I don't know when the feature was added. I just know that that's a feature that I was then going, Oh my god, that is the best thing I've ever heard about Roll20. Anyway, so yeah. Amazing. You guys are all in the room. What do you do? Right, so. Yeah, I think as I'm grabbing my gun, I'll probably just look at Zig and see keep on going. Like, are you heading back up yeah. there with them as well? Why not? <laughs> because maybe Lyco doesn't want to. Mm. Um, but yes, no, Zig, Zig would just <laughs> nod at that and kind of collect himself and try and focus on the task at hand. Okay. Da, 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 da. Right, so bum, bum. he's basically have the equivalent of like a short rest if there's a anything you want to have in the form of a short rest or you're going to just press on like wait or go oh I, I really do want stamina but I feel like waiting a bit isn't a good idea no so it's not go we need to go so we should go if Stiggy who happens to have any stamina increasing things that would be great but that's about it really mm. I don't believe no. it does I don't think I do I think I've only got actual heal heal okay so Press onwards then. Onwards! Check, hit points, hit points. Do you know what? Maybe get you guys who just think about getting hurt properly. Mm. Yeah, actually getting hot. 
Anywho, yeah. moving on. As, as I'm packing pack up, I would say, Zig, ready to keep on going? And then... Um, Zig, would, Zig would nod, pick himself up. From his little back. hidey hole. Still like nodding. I'm all about that nodding game. And we'll head on in a line of We're three, because that's the wizard, cool as The wonderful wizard. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Just stay in a line. Because, 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 because. <laughs> so we'll go... Alright, and you all head through know. the door. Am I like the tin man looking for a heart? Heart? Yes. Yes. You are. <laughs> yes. Uh, apparently. Definitely the lion. Cowardly, cowardly mouse. And. Yes. What the? Brand what was the scarecrow brain? again? A brain. Um, brain. Yeah. He was a brain, didn't he? Brain, heart, and courage, was it not? Yep. Mm hmm. So, you just walk into this room, and there just seems to be what looks like a dormant robot. Or a fucking Gatling gun. That's great. Just what we need. Sometimes they're your friend. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's dormant, you see. I mean, it's. It didn't just start attacking you as soon as you walked in, right? is isn't moving or bleeping or making noise or speaking to you, so yeah, dormant. Okay, so I guess we'll just like walk around it casually. So let's all roll initiative. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> I just know, this, is, this is more just so I know what order things happen in. Okay. That seems yeah, like yeah. a lie. Seems. Oh my fuck. Wait, what do you mean select it? I've already. Oh, did I, did I did I select it? I did. Yes. Well, we need to do the thing again. Sorry. Now you're gonna click on your token and then roll initiative. I mean, honestly, I'll take it this this time because that was a bad fucking roll. Initiative. See how it works now. <laughs> no, it knows. That was exactly the noise. same. It knows. So. That means we're over here descending. There we go. So Zig, you're up first. And this is just I think this there's not again nothing has changed about what I've said. I just need an order to the chaos of you all moving. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I think Zig would kind of um try and sky round. So I thought you were just escape. Like I'm gonna escape the robot. Yeah. Um, how do I do this? Uh, like you know, like around the sides to try and <laughs> just ignore it because sleepy robots are still scary. Sleepy robots. Especially when it's like Gatling gun strapped it. Yeah. Apart from Nix, Nix isn't scary. So I mean, what I you? Don't know, it's scary. You could always try. A stealth roll of some kind, right? If you wanted to yeah. try and get through. I'll go snacky, I'll go snacky. I think you'd go and drop one. This like is a door. Doors. This is a door. Three. This is a door. Aren't we all doors? Yeah. He's probably want to go through this um, door based on the lack of dynamic lighting. We are doors alls. I mean, I feel like Zig would want to get through the first door, so he'd probably actually um head to there. Mm -hmm. Realistically. Yeah, it's only likely that it really so knows the way that. he's going anyway, so yeah. Yeah. Which Lycos? Which way is that? <sighs> yeah, I would have thought yeah. so. Lyco knows he wants to go that way. Zig knows that there is a door here, here, and here. And yeah. with enough explosives uh, anywhere along here. Cautiously go. Not very stealthily. Well, it's not Lyco's go yet. It's, we're still waiting to see what Zig's oh, doing. Of course it is. To right. over that direction. Following that path, I guess. I can't remember how to. What's your pick movement? Up Is it twenty-five? Thirty. Yeah, cool. So yeah. So that's right. Press S. Grab your token. Move it. Cool. You can move again if you wanted to, unless you want to do another action. 
I I'd probably try and get in through this door. Well, uh, I suppose your stealth was your action, sorry. Really, your stealth was your action. Oh, no, yes, of course, my stealth, I forgot yeah. about that. Cool. Uh... Say stealth. It was, uh... <laughs> sneak, sneak, Walking. sneak, sneak, zig. It doesn't count if you say sneak. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Doesn't count unless you say sneak. <laughs> uh, Zora. <laughs> Jump, jets, go! I was actually thinking about it, but that'll probably end up saying <laughs> half. So I'm just gonna go, but... But, but... Oh, duh. <laughs> there, there. There we go. Yeah. That's me. Not well, in fact, actually, I'll just use my stand to move one more time. I haven't been done with it. Opening up the door yet. Sorry, you're going to go up to the door, sorry? Yeah, I'll just walk to the door. I'll use my stand up to just move one more square. But that's it, really. Okay, I'll not okay. open the door. Two seconds. Okay, Until I find out it's an automated door, it automatically opens up. Yeah. Which it probably fucking is. Uh, and a horde of goblins lies beyond. <laughs> just one, one goblin boy is gonna fuck him up. This is when he's in the other room, just horde having a goblin. massive, you know. <laughs> yep, a goblin horde, singular. What? Uh, let's see. Right. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't make any sense, but it's fine. Uh, why cool? What's the plan? The plan, the plan, is all through to Steph. No, in fact, why, why bother Steph? Yeah, yeah like I, don't, I just walked past. <laughs> I just walked past. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother trying. Zvi axiones. How many move do I need to go? Ah, how do I checkpoint it again? Uh, right click. So 40 feet gets me to there. So you can't technically do that move, right? So you need right. to you need oh, to right, enter into the room and then move. Right. So it would be five feet on top of that, so it would get me to here. Yeah. So just move down one to make this simpler. Oh, I know, but I'm just changing over because I know where I'm going. Yep, but I'm saying move down one to make this easier. Yes, I know. And then, and then I will join the initiative. <coughs> of course you will. Luckily, this is a rubbish game. And, and luckily, I don't have to reorder it. And I will move to here, if that is permissible. And then with my other action, I will, no. Um. Uh, right, cool. So, you get as far as there, okay. before you leave its melee range. And that hits you for 11 damage. No. Yeah, the thing literally just like as soon as you step in, as soon as you step into the room, the thing just picks up, activates its shoulders, go a bit slacker, and then you go to like walk past, and the thing just swipes out at you. Sick. <sighs> Trying to. There we go. Well, what a bitch. Um. Okay. And then you end up like there or wherever it was. Did we just buy us to dodge it? Oh, well, well, two. Oh, was that it? Oh, yeah. Or no, technically it was um, there and then I think it was something like that. Maybe you're one over. It, it was there. Yeah, there you go. Although, to be fair, if it hit him, he wouldn't necessarily just step by it. It's up to you. I think in this case he would, because it seems to be easy to outrange. Yeah. I will, and I will shout to the captain. Uh, you got anything I could blow that up with? Captain looks at self. I'm a bomb. Uh, 
I am the bomb. I mean, I don't want you as the bomb. This. Um, also, what um. Got this bomb, but it seems a bit like a bit of a waste. Cool. And some incendiary grenades. Well, but well, I mean, we're in combat and it is zig. So yeah, you just have that Sweet. back and forth. Zig, you're <coughs> up. Alrighty. Um, I might just full action. I was going to say magic missile, but um, it's not called magic missile. The other um, magic shooting missile. stars. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> I might do that. Okay. Full actions. Actions. Oh, is that actions. for three darts, is it? Or four? Uh, three. Cool. I believe. Do, 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 do. Yes. Three uh, full things. Blamf. Okay. So, give me the follow up. Blamp and blamp. Four three four. Right. Two seconds. Oh, I wonder if I add it from the compendium. It might add the extra things for me. Uh, name your label. Yours is like number two or initial or something. Like change it so it's actually a. Unique looking. Uh. Sorry, what? Like your original spell, change the name of it so it doesn't like delete or override. If you're going to add it again. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. OG. Cool. Uh, how much damage total did you do? Sorry. So four, three, four. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. And a spell slot, actually. Whoops. Mm hmm. Silly bugger. Went one. Um, maybe now you are noticing these. <laughs> hmm. So it's an undead whacker. Hmm. Some form of security device for the mm. whacker. Of course. Undead. Of course. <laughs> Yeah, no sick. Yeah, no, that's my full action. Zara. Okay, okay. I would just bind back. Uh, let me do the clicky click. Okay, there we go. There we go. First of all, I guess one slash three four done. Big capital letters got another meant that, but that's mm -hmm. fine. Um, but, 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 but just solar armor and then shoot it. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know why I clicked away from my character sheet. <laughs> it's not a good idea. Submit. Twelve. Why? Why is it the terrible rules? War rules, 12. <laughs> yeah, you miss. I'm gonna make this thing so. make you roll. Cool. Probably yeah. shouldn't have opened fire. It doesn't care. Oh. It's fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, that's me. Cool. Uh, let's see. Is on Lyco. Hello. Yak. Yak is eating. 
electrical, so one of these hits you for a seven electrical. What a bitch. Putting me on but 19 stamina points. <laughs> but 19. Extra health. <laughs> but 19. 19 and what a butt. Uh, let's see. That was its full attack. So it's Lyco. Slightly crisper than normal. And it will always be Lyco. Um, I didn't put away my swordy boys. Um, I will do and walk towards it. And then I will make a simple attack. If I no, I could just nah. I'll do it. Does that do a hit? Give me two seconds. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, right, okay. This is against Kak. It is not hit. Uh, not hugely surprised. Oh well, that's my turn. Okay, these. Ziggather. Ziggather. Hmm. Letters. Hmm. What to do? <laughs> um, do you know what? Also, I technically need to make it make another rule. It's okay, you can carry on doing what you're doing, but I need to make this other rule. Because I've done this in a different order than I should have. But that's fine, that's perfect, it works it fine. I think. It's still I'm happy done. to ignore both of you, put it that way. It hasn't decided that being shot by fucking magical stars from nowhere matters to it, nor being like, you know, at least shot at, if not hit, by a giant oh. Vesk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Undead guy though. Fuck okay. that guy. Programming. <laughs> right, so you move there. Yeah. Um. Bum, 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 bum. Are androids and stuff and robots and stuff immune to mind psychic stuff? Who knows? They are. They are. There's, awesome. um, it depends on the specifics. By uh, construct immunities are a thing. Yeah. So I assumed so. I'll read it to you. Const um, so constructs are immune to the following effects. Unless the effect specifies that it works against constructs. Bleed, death effects, disease, mind affecting effects, necromancy effects, paralysis, poison, sleep, and stunning. Ability damage, ability drain, energy drain, exhaustion, fatigue, negative energy levels, uh, <sighs> non lethal damage, any effect That's that requires a fortitude save unless the effect works on objects or is, har uh, or is harmless. Format immunity construct. Yeah. That's cool. Alright, fuck, I'm gonna hurl with this. even have trick attacked it? Um, probably not. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Although, the stealth variant is just you tricking its sensors, right? Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, yeah you could you could do that. I don't think that's Wham. an issue. But I'd say, like, bluff and sense motive and all that, probably not, right? Probably not. Yeah, it seems like, like, true, like that wouldn't make sense anyway, so I wouldn't mind that that's not working. Um, right, so what, what we're up to, sorry, Zig? Do I do, I do a punch from far away? So you're hurling a force disc. I'm hurling a force disc. And how does this how does this work again? Um. So the attack is sixteen. Attack. It's eac, yeah. Uh, force is attack. Uh, eac. Hmm. Yeah, it's all force to be cack. We just thought that, but nah, it's pretty good actually. And um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Minus eight damage. Yeah. Ah. Huh. Cool. And. Yeah. Does it hit Lyco or anyone else? 
No, it can ricochet and hit up to four creatures of my choice. Um, like it was not a creature of my choice. <laughs> I mean, I like enough. to think I am, but you know, not for this. Not for this um, now, application. Here is a thing. Sorry. So you would voluntarily end the spell. Yes. Because otherwise, it will hit other people. Um, do, 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 it's the ending do, do, part. Do, do, do. You just get to voluntarily end it. Because mm -hmm. it says, then ricochets to hit creatures of your choice. But the only creatures available to choose are those two. So then the next part says, or you can voluntarily end it. Oh, yeah, yeah, let me just. That makes sense, right? Mm. Uh, uh, At no point does it specify uh, enemies. So basically you just need to say, okay, that's it done. Yeah, I'm just hitting this one guy, bam, done. Or if there's only two yeah, of them yeah. left, bam, bam, done. I don't want to ricochet through the other three members of my party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, yeah. Yes, makes sense. Cool, I like that they added that in, because it means you don't have to have the issues of... I don't have to go, hmm, sorry, sorry, my girl. <laughs> yep. Uh, that was very nice. It's one of the few things that are clear. Cool. The thing turns and looks at you, Zig. Sorry. <laughs> Unless you're doing I anything else. Roll. Yeah, I was going to say, feel free to. Pip yourself with the foot. Uh, yes, I will. No, nope. my roll 20s. Oh, that's because I've not selected <laughs> my mice. There we go. I was like, why is it not working? Sorry, you're up. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not going to go for the full attack again. Um, I'm just going to go. Mm. Foot on two of three. Still keeping the files us. Yeah, it's like watching Black Panther, Oops. though, isn't it? Like, <laughs> only imagine it's the Killmonger suit. And it's just every time Zora's in a fight slowly, you glow. I watched Black you, you glow gold more and more and more. <laughs> you really should, though. It's good. Sorry, yeah, good. Yeah, just wait. I feel like I might just flash it. I flare it. Mm. Nah, nah, screw it. I'll just see flare kind of almost at least makes it not well a good chance of not taking damage this turn. That's what I'm feeling. And then just let um, Michael and Ziggy Poo kill it. Could be a thing. Mm. I'm nah, not. I'm not I'll burning all my spell slots on this thing. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it. <laughs> Screw it. Uh, Bob. Shoot the thing, not with a full attack. Boom. I mean, that's alright, eh? It's not bad. Mm. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, how much is that? 20 plus 5 burn damage. So I think, Alex, maybe you can remind us of this. The burn doesn't apply now. Yes. That's just the going. No, it's when it hits its turn. Yes. Cool. So it takes 20 now, and then it will take 5 on its turn. Yes. And is it save at the end of its turn, I assume? Or the start? I believe so, that, that was the case, yes. I can double check while we're. Yeah, that's fine, that. yeah. yeah. Um, mostly because it's its turn next, unless say, Zora's got anything else to do. Mm, do I have anything else to do? No. Mark down your, your shoot hands as well. Keep in mind, though, if you've been using full actions, it's two shots you should be marking down each time as well. Yeah, and I've not used a full action on this weapon. Yeah, it was your stabby swicey thingy. S stabby stabber. Yeah. Yes. I was going to say, what actual damage is it? And I realised it's flame damage, so it doesn't matter if it's bludgeoning or slashing or piercing, it's flame damage, regardless. Flame. Uh, cool, it's this thing's move. Uh, it's then going to go bloop. No. Oh. Oh, oh my god. god. Stop that! 
cool. Let's so just play. You just see it's it like you just see it like kind of stand up, and it looks at itself, and you see like its weird white plating just start to knit back together again, and it looks up, and then it decides if it's going to see you as a threat or not. Uh, no, it does not. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm not <laughs> <the best. coughs> Yeah, it doesn't actually care about you. Um, but luckily, that's its goal. Like, cool. Um, How nice is that ability, though? Against there. So I think that's a good strategy. Oh, sorry, so wait. You're in fire, you take 5 damage at the beginning of your turn each round. Blah, 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 blah. You can attempt to reflex saving throw. Do you remember this condition into turn? Blah, blah, blah. Right, so let me do this just now. So I'll take 5 more damage, right? Let me add that back on. And then I will reflex save to see if I, I get out of it. What was the DC? So the fire damage I took Probably. that round. So I took five damage this round. Round, turn, round. Does that make yeah. sense? Round, turn, round. Right round. No. Four. So what is the DC then? Is it going to be something ridiculous? Oh. Hmm. Like does that That's make... Better. Yeah. yeah. I can like yeah. 10 plus them. Yeah, because my rolls are 22, right? So let's work this out. Because I might I still be on fire. That. I might still be on fire. Because technically, this round I took 25 damage. But does it mean on my turn? I don't know. Let me just look up burning in the compendium as well. I would have thought it had been the fire, the bond damage. Yeah. Oh, there we go. The rule says 10. The same throw is equal to 10 plus the amount of fire damage you took this round from the burning condition. Right, okay, so okay. from the burning condition. So I did yeah. pass it by quite a bit, because it would have been yep. 15, would have been the DC. Cool. Yeah. I was going to say, because otherwise that would be a nightmare to put yourself out. I thought so. I was, I was, like, thinking, oh, I of you, being... I was thinking of you guys more than me. I don't care <laughs> if my robot burns. <laughs> and also Alex. Uh, Alex is having his problems already. You're already dead, man. Let's, let's just face it. I hope you've been building mm, that new I'm character sorry. in the background. This is so when I'm you realise that he's playing S Kate from now on. <laughs> no, I should just come back oh as next part no. of the white. <laughs> 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 I come to you now as Saruman should have been. But you already have white veins, but you come back as a grey. You just see the other veils. That's regressing. <laughs> They're just slightly duller lights. <laughs> well, that's cool. Good. That makes sense. Uh, this compendium is the best thing we ever bought. Um, just to have access to this, because we have to look up the book. Good, 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 good. Right, okay, so it is still Lyco's turn. Yes. I will make a full attack against the fuck bot. That's what I'm calling it now. Cool. Yeah, I'll do. Yep. Fuck oh no. Uh, first one's a hit, second one is not. I guess that. Ten damage. What do you mean the second doesn't hit? <laughs> uh, I will have no further attacks this evening. <laughs> no, just just in general, none to me, none made by me. <laughs> I conscientiously object. Uh, right, cool. Zig, the prone. Zig the prone. Prom. 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 Prom Zig. Prom. Prom Zig. Prom. I would. I think Zig would look at the captain and be like. Should I stay or should I go? Damn should I name. stay or should I go? Come on, but no. <laughs> um, are we uh, leaving or are we staying? I would kind of just look at Lyco, like, I mean, don't tell he's it. <laughs> and it has mostly focused on Lyco. Yeah, yeah, but that, I mean, I think, has it made actually. an attack against anyone else? No, it hasn't. No. <laughs> I'm better here to help Lyco. Than... Mm -hmm. I think I'm pretty tunnel vision in this. Yeah. Yous are locked in melee. <laughs> I think it's, like, it, it, it's a case of this <laughs> thing went for me specifically. Yeah. Fuck it. Yep. You know, I guess I would kind of just do like this sort of eye roll into like side nod towards like, you know, you know what I mean? Like sort of, uh, with the, go and deal with this guy. <laughs> He's in blood first mode. <laughs> Right up. In that case. God damn it, Lyco. Callum, <laughs> <laughs> does it feel good to be the one not causing the problem? 
It really does. Bro, um, the fucking kill the machine. The machine's got to die, alright. Just go up. Go <laughs> Lyco up in the up machine up. is the title. Just saying. I yeah, use a pistol. Right. Right. I'm gonna crawl over this dead thing. How far can I crawl? Like, I don't know, is it 5 feet or some shit? Like, I think it's something. Like five I think it's 5 or 50 or so, I can't remember. I don't think it's as generous as 5 feet, I think it is 5 feet. I don't know. Okay, cool, I'll get up as my, my swift. <laughs> because I can. Yep, because you're a, and it's so cute. Because I'm magical. No, I'll know because I'm a rat. Yeah, it's, be it's because of what you are before you became magical, yeah. I'm going to stand right here. Oof. I'm going to spend my action pulling out a bunch of flares from my bag. I think I've got four left in there. <laughs> okay. Sorry, so I think you can bring out, like, a so. flare. I think that's what you can do. With, like, I can bring out oh. a flare. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'll bring out... A flare. Riffin is fine. A box of flares. No, I'll bring out a flare. <laughs> uh, a box of flares sounds good though. Zorat. Interestingly, I posted a, th a flare just up thread. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I still have four, so I'm gonna take take one, take take a flare out. Okay. And I'm just gonna guess I'm gonna stand there for a bit. <laughs> You're gonna Jurassic Park this scene. <laughs> It's not running around trying to get the robot's attention like a T Rex. <laughs> 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 T Rex is a hero. Uh, it that, was! That's what this T Rex was a hero. Like, literally, these, that's, the thing I love about Jurassic Park is that the ending mm -hmm. genuinely frames the T Rex as if it were a heroic savior. Yeah. It's great. It's fucking hilarious. Is that right? Mmm. Of I believe I should. <laughs> okay, now like move into a nah, nah, I'll just shoot. I should it. Oh yeah, free free. I figured. I figured. Free, free, I, free, I know your jam. Free, Why even have graviton? <laughs> uh, I mean, for now, anyway, graviton has its uses mm. eventually, just not right now. Um, right now, you're an exploding lizard. That's what I am. Don't judge. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just shift it again. Um, so, double click my guy because I can do that and it's amazing. <laughs> it is so good, isn't it? It's so good. And submit. And I miss. <laughs> yep. So, let me do my. Cool. What I want to know is why is this battery not changing? Where does this battery start? Because I'm changing it in my charges. Uh, that's my turn, by the way. Cool. Robot. Uh, I mean, I did just kind of see you do that, so. Uh, right, I think. Okay, rules question again. If this thing makes a ranged attack while engaged, what happens? Is it an attack of opportunity, or is it just a penalty? Or does uh, it I not it's not opportunity. Yeah, I feel like yeah. that's the rules. Um, and I feel like it probably doesn't care. So, Lyco. Attack of opportunity. Okay. If you wish to use your reaction to do so. I do. I do wish to use my reaction. So what are the rules for attacks of opportunity? I take just, it a just, rule one um, standard attack. Yeah, it's like one one normal attack. Mostly because this I've thing... I've never had an attack of opportunity before, have I? This thing... No, you haven't. <laughs> and this thing's arm just starts to like unbuckle. And it's got like an arc projector built into its arm. And it starts to go... Wub, 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 and it's pointing at his aura. Mate, yeah. why, oh, why stop real. that? Why stop that? <laughs> <laughs> and I think maybe like as you do, like its other hand just grabs your hand like with the blade. As if it's stopping you, because it's obviously like you know some creepy Terminator now. And, uh, what a bitch! And then it does. Why? 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 Why stop? That's two hits, isn't it? Yeah, nineteen and nineteen. So nineteen and twenty-seven. So that's a uh, five that's damage and eight damage. Or, uh... Okay, I'm now in the, the region of I'm hurt. Mm. 
I'm hoping. So more bolts of electricity flying. God, loads of things have electricity here. Um, mm. Sparking down. Unintentional, by the way. It wasn't like I specifically said, let's hit you with lightning. It was just the things that would be here. Uh, yeah, that's all I can do. Lyco. It is my time now. Like pull your hand back out of its hand creepily, not holding hands with this thing as it electrocutes your buddy. <laughs> and I will attempt once more to full attack. Yeah, that looks like one hit. Maybe. Eh, uh, what one are we looking for? Yeah, seventeen no. and eleven. No, so it's an eighteen. Both miss. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. That's unfortunate. Zig. Maybe I should just strike attack this thing. Ziggurat. 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 A name we haven't called you yet and somehow missed completely. Ziggurat. It's, <laughs> it's so perfect. Zig's final form, blah, blah, the Ziggurat. I am the Sun Temple. <laughs> ah, rats. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's a standard action. Never mind. Why? Well, what were you thinking? Um, oh, I wanted to go into my starlight form. Just, <laughs> just to glow. <laughs> just to glow. Let it glow. Um, but instead, um, Zig will. Um, I went to drink my tea there, and it was the empty. Flare. It was very sad. Oh, oh no. Um, Zig's gonna telekinetic projectile the flare that he just took out of his bag. Um, right into the bot rot's face. And Alex, is there a shooting into melee penalty? Uh, I don't believe we've ever found one. Cool, good enough. Move on, fire it. <laughs> <laughs> I cast gun! <laughs> I ca what is it, telekinetic projectile? It's not that powerful, but I don't have to burn anything to thing yet. Boom! Oh well, that doesn't do much. <laughs> it does not, no. I think it does just like hit off it though, because you have just like threw a flare at it, and it just kind of like falls behind it somewhere. I kind of like the idea that it goes the telekinetic projectile, but he just throws it instead. <laughs> it's like and just ah, forgets ah, how magic ah. works. <laughs> well, Jeffrey, you have had a lot of magic up to this point, so maybe you're just not used to having to do a lot just of magic consistently. Burnt out. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. So probably just a flare glowing there then yeah it looks pretty yeah <laughs> um okay Let's give this to distraction <laughs> I cast the gun uh, I don't know <laughs> oh, you've got like a move right I'm gonna uh, let's see that was really underwhelming. <laughs> I've got nothing in my cheek pouches. That's rubbish. Um. <laughs> no, right, See, good. I'm just going to move, move I just, away. I like to believe that if we had a sassy chat that watched us as well, you know, like a kind of a viewer basis that had access to Twitch chat or something. Yes, we should go on Twitch. Yeah. That would be terrible. I like to believe that maybe the next game we do together, we'll, we'll do a Twitch stream version. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. I like to believe that they would then at this point say, Zig should just mind link with it to kill it like he killed Alice. Uh -huh. See, I, I actually <laughs> crossed my mind. <laughs> probably say pog champ. <laughs> um, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And I'm just going to move back here. That's a good boy. Okay, okay. Zora. You've, <sighs> you've been electrocuted and you're probably now saying, why do I always get burnt or electrified? <laughs> <laughs> why am all this happening? Oh my god, I need the electricity to resist now, oh god damn it. Uh, I god got I more damage like types. I got acid too, man. I got acid too. I'm gonna feel attack. Okay. I'm probably gonna regret it, but I'm gonna feel attack. Uh, I mean, this probably. thing does have a few holes punched in it. I mean, you guys have, like, laid into I it. I miss both times. You do. I knew I shouldn't have feel attacked. You know this is not a full attack. Uh, also, this one's for Zig. And this one's for Zora. Cool. 
It's like it has, it has regarded you For as a non-threat. All that robot knows is just I was giving it, you know, I was just giving it a present. <clears throat> Realistically, you, you're the equivalent threat of an ash tree, I think, to this robot at the moment. <laughs> Even though you've done a lot of damage to it. Better than <laughs> an ash tree, am I right? <laughs> hey! Wait. So. Uh, uh, that's my top, by the way. Cool. For pois. Right. And now. It's always someone's. So we've got this problem of rolls again. I think I need to go between. What do you mean? Sorry. Got rid of that laser pistol. Well, I'm rolling terribly. <laughs> oh, that. Right, okay. Right, so this is a D2. Lyco is one, Zora is two, because the thing considers you both a threat. But actually, sorry. Odds and evens. Let's say that um, the odds are Lyco is going to be hit. Right. That seems likely. Yeah. It's an odd number. Lyco is going to be hit. Well, fuck you too, sir. And then faux pas and faux pas. One of them. No, actually, none of them had to be. Nine and eighteen. KAC. No. Yeah. Cac is nineteen. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, your your blades block what you need to block. Mm. It's obviously <laughs> off put by the flare. Uh, it's blinded by the light. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm helping. Oh, like oh, mm. uh, yeah, it's you. You again. Alright, <laughs> that's an excellent point because I think I'm just going to do the same fucking thing. Mm. Uh, if I may. <laughs> you may. <laughs> I did. I hit with. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I the hit lowest with damage. The one that did the lowest possible damage. <laughs> Seven damage. It's all right, lads. We've managed to chip through its healing. Yeah, like it's it is pretty beat up again. Like this thing's like it's sparking in places where the arc reactor or the arc caster isn't. So that's that's good for you guys. Uh, that you like what it was? It was a full attack. Cool. Zig. Full, attack. full attacks are nice. I do right. like it as a mechanic. Because sometimes you feel like you waste like a move action in D and D when you've got nothing to Where do. What the fuck is a Jafif? And why do things oh, keep on accidentally saving in my PC, is it? Sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like, wh why are we even having this conversation? Um, <laughs> I, d I need to find this out at some point in the future. Um, I suggest using something cheap See these one. boys? Yes. Are they, are they just corpses? They are various races and corpses. Various yeah. races. Ah, What's the race of, of this one? Them at it. Uh... Let's find out. So, I'm not entirely convinced he isn't doing that. Uh, let's see. Oh, that was an interesting one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, D seven. Yes, I D seven. But it's okay. Oh! <laughs> that hurts. Has it has it still got a mouth? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would like to cast something that I don't think I've actually cast yet. Oh god. Have I cast I think I've cast it once. He's got to do raise dead. He's a necromancer. <laughs> I wish I, I wish I had raised dead that would be fantastic. Um so I'm gonna lean down, I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna cast grave words on it. Right. Um I can force a touched corpse to talk to you, but you can't ask it specific questions or communicate it with at all. The cork utters random sentences for one round with a 10% chance this information is of some use to you. So, right, let's do... Why are you doing this in combat? Because there's nothing else I can actually do. <laughs> well, ca cast your spell. Cast your spell. I will cast my spell. You need to buy your fucking pistol. <laughs> you use these um, yeah, I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have used my pistol. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and it was. I actually said that, but I was muted. We need to get you a pistol just before you said that. Like, <laughs> I, think, I think we heard you. Yeah. Um, oh, did you? I thought I was muted. Right. So, what I would like you to do is roll a d100 and anything north of what 90 in north, I guess, or if I not be 91, two, three, four, five, six, seven, blah, 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 blah. No. So it just starts okay. randomly saying absolute nonsense. It's more like things like, you know, yeah, like three grades down, 
five five feet forward, you know, or like various like random information. Like half the time it looks like it's navigating, the other time it, it looks like it's counting like supplies. It's just mm. small dog twice. Cat. Yep. Tuesday. Jump. Nine. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks. It's been <laughs> <laughs> one week. <laughs> anyway, uh, is it anything else? Um. No, because nobody's taken actual damage. Yeah, they have. So, <coughs> I have. Like actual but not substance. Not nothing I can do anything about. Nothing you want to do anything about. Yeah, it's quite frustrating. Can you yeah. literally just choose how much health you give him? Or am I thinking of something else? Don't you have like a lay on hand style ability? Uh, yeah, so I can... I can give... Go look up you what your what actual... We'll like, it's not a spell, it's a mystic bit ability. Go look that up, right? And we'll yeah, so I can sit for, te for ten minutes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> heal it's, it's a ten minute. So I could sit for ten minutes and start healing people. Yeah, it's only about 60 But rooms. I have to sit for ten minutes. Um... <laughs> So, uh, Zig's just gonna drop prone. <laughs> Until he can think of something better to do. Is this thing just randomly babbling to you? Babbling yeah. Babbling. I think he kinda like lie down next to it, you know. Uh, I'm gonna have to it. do... that. Cool. Cause there's a new target babbling away. <laughs> uh, Zora? <laughs> okay... Distraction okay. technique. Gonna Maybe. do that. I'm just gonna go bang, 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 bang. Right bang. there. She shot me down. Can't move bang, right bang. there. That awful sound. And let's just uh, hopefully end this by going. Kasplush. Let's see. Where am I looking? That's a DC save I need to make. Uh, yeah, it's reflex 16. Right, and I don't think it gets to be immune to this annoyingly, which is good for you. <laughs> Other abilities, unliving is the best statement. Uh, where is this button? I always lose it. It fails. So it's 22 damage? Yep, 22. Yeah, it just, it, it just explodes. Good. Not, not like the previous well. explosion thingy. Just, yeah, not like a weird electrical explosion like the last one. This one just gets trashed to bits. Good. It's, like, it's more like a, you know, you do that slow motion solar blast Nova thing as all your scales glow. And then your eyes glow and your mouth glows and all this light just comes out of you like some kind of creepy lizard Aztec god. <laughs> and then this thing just like we get the slow motion ripple of the, the plastic plating on it and it just slowly melts and then very quickly s camera motion speeds up and the thing just explodes. Lyco is just covered in bits of like melted plastic now. Smells oh. probably awful. Sorry about that. The flare goes out. <laughs> so. Oh. Yeah. Da, 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 da. We did kill. The babbling stops from this thing. Uh, probably just start walking towards the door, like we're waiting my hands. I, I think the last thing we hear is where I turn, like, who would have thought that's how it ended? And then that's when uh, the thing stops babbling. All that was in Ahsoka, though, so only people <laughs> that speak Ahsoka actually get that, which might be all of you. Yes. I do. <laughs> I do. Cool. I'll right. Not. So. Not great, obviously, but yeah. Uh, you press on? Yes. I follow our camp. I am getting bored to light at this stage of actually needing the rest, but that's fine. We can press on. Cool. That's a wrong map. Cool. No. Yeah. So, meanwhile, just press on. Meanwhile. I'll need a, an athletics check from everyone. Not oh. Nix, obviously. 
Hang athletics, on. eh? Oh, my athletics is bollocked. Well, Although, as I can mention, oh, that, that robot thing we just fought was a. I actually really like its stats. I think it's a pretty decent fight for you guys at the level you are at. Mm. Um, its ability to repair is disgusting, though. Um, right, okay, cool. Uh, again, I think mostly this is a <laughs> Lyco and Zora <laughs> maneuvering everything out the way as you dig your way to uh, Shakos in the uh, docks. Um, you get to the point where like your comm goes again and it's a uh, Shakos gun. Quint? Yep, I would. Uh, what would it, what would the correct response to be? Because uh, it wouldn't be Roger. That sounds lame. Roger, Roger. Receiving, maybe. Roger, Roger. Present. Receiving. <laughs> yeah, receiving is good. So I'll go. For receiving. receiving is good. Is the best phrase to say. Oh <laughs> uh, dear. God. Uh, 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 <laughs> isn't it? Oh uh, dear. Receiving yeah, is good. Point. Receiving is good. Yeah. What a chapter title. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we need we need f just just some form of female influence again in this channel, please. <laughs> um probably. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so yeah. Uh you say receiving back, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And uh, it's like Are you close? And the, you can t tell just from the very fact that the signal itself is so much clearer and stronger. It's almost like there's a lot less of the layers of the station involved. So yeah, you're pretty damn close. Yeah. We should be... Do I have any estimate? Like, I know how. I know where I'm going, so do I have an estimate of what kind of time frame? I mean, if you're not fighting anything, which realistically that took all of what's on like a minute to kill anyway, so do you know what I mean? Everything, I mean, took a minute to kill, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah, crazy to think that it only took actually six, what, like sixty seconds from the elevator to where you are now getting this call. When you think about how much you've just destroyed, and ex and that your lizard has exploded twice, um, yeah. boom, boom, crazy, shake the room. I, I'm, 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 I'm just getting things done. Now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're maybe only, maybe only a couple of. Like sections away, like not even that far. A good, a good sprint might get you there. To be honest. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Then. Yeah. Okay. I'll see. We uh depending on resistance. Mm, a few minutes. Yep. Yep. And then um, use the three of you all run. Obviously, as I said, your athletic six. There is Zig's kind of lagging behind again for some reason, and then um, you get to like her, like big sealed kind of um. You could say it's like a bit like a maintenance closet thing, but it's more like a kind of um, a, an overseer's office type thing for the lower docks. Um, and there's like a bunch of uh, dead bodies, etc. Uh, could everybody just give me like generic attack rolls? Whatever you would do as a normal attack, just give me one from each of you. Because there's a bunch of those zomboid things outside them. No. I mean... <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's a roll. Yep. Um... So just telekinetic projectile yeah, everything. Sure. You could like pick up the fire extinguisher off the wall or some damage. shit, like yeah. Yeah. Cool, and uh, I think everything do it with Zora probably hits. <laughs> no, I think Zora hits as well actually with that, believe it or not, because these things weren't didn't have a big I think it was like twelve or something was eleven. <laughs> eleven was Yeah. Eleven. eleven was their yak, yep. And obviously I don't really have to look at what it was for the KC. Which was higher, but doesn't matter because yeah, he hits. Uh, right here. So yeah, you just like walk up. You've got like a fire extinguisher that smacks off one of them, uh, and laser shot takes out another one, and then like Lyco jumps in the middle and takes out the rest. Um, some kind of whirlwind attack, and uh, yeah, you uh, you're outside the door that the signal's coming from. Can I perhaps reload in the time between getting to the door? Yeah, sort sure. Of thing. Cool. So, cool. Just, just so you know, so I'm not cheesing it, and you see maybe full thing again. Cool. Uh, I'm oh, going to stick the out. rest of my flares in my cheek pouches if I have time. Yeah. I don't have an in cheek pouches option on my carried. No, <laughs> what about that? Um. 
Oh fuck! You know what I just realised? Mm. I never did code because I couldn't figure out how to do it. The minus one to the mess, so I probably actually hit a couple of times in those combats that we didn't. <laughs> Possibly like once or twice. You definitely got yeah, like one off. It wasn't much. It yeah. wasn't much, but, but it, yeah. it would have contributed. Yeah. To the, oh I, well. I think your first attack would have hit then. But yeah. We, we we need to we need to find out a way to code that. Um, mm. If anyone's what good is at, a plus one to hit? Uh, I can do it because I've got that plus one to damage. It's not a plus one to hit. It's, it's fine. It's we'll sort it later. Minus one, basically. Okay, but yeah, okay. you're outside the door. I'm pretty oh. ready. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm good. So you've killed the barricade. What do you do now? Likely you're in front of the door. Enter? It, no, it's locked. It's You can't. Oh. It's, it's sealed. Right, right, right. Yeah. I will... Uh, is there... Well, you know what? I'm not even going to bother looking for a button or anything. I'll just come through... Um, check us. Quint? We're outside. Okay. Knock on the door. I will knock on the door. And so knock, knock. Obviously, she hears you through your call man through the door. So, right. good enough. You hear like a big thunk on the metal door, and it kind of does that very typical metal door opening creak noise. And then uh, she like pops her head round, really kind of squirrely, with like a pistol in her hand, kind of points it up, like, Okay, it is you. Can we get out of here? That's the plan! Oh, wait, none of them have met her before, have they? No. No, okay, um... Captain? What was her rank again, Lieutenant? Uh, officer. It was just officer. Office, just officer. Uh, 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 Captain, this is uh, Officer Shakas. Zig. Zig would nod. He'd transfer one um, flare from one cheek pouch to the other. I think um, she like claims out over the bodies. Um, she's not really acknowledged who you're introducing her to. She's too busy like checking the corridors and such. Uh, and she's like, "Okay, good, good, good. Can we go?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Nod. Give her the two fingers salute. Let's go. <laughs> she does like she looks kind of visibly like shaken. Um But yeah, she doesn't really waste time on like <laughs> making herself feel better. She just is like I'll feel better later. <laughs> I can leave now. Um uh, yeah, so yeah, use a um, book it back. Can I get athletics checks from all of you again? Yarp. But of course Athletics. Boom. That's acrobatics, but yeah, sorry. Oh. oh no, well, maybe no. maybe he's just really showing off. What <laughs> do you think about that? Oh, see, could I do that? I could get a really good roll if I did that. You got a decent roll. No, I couldn't. I got a fine roll. Sorry. Aged um, like fine roll. Acrobatics is the same modifier. Um. It's up to you. Okay, hold me roll. Something. <laughs> One off. Cool. Uh, yep, so he's all got it back. Uh, I don't think much really delays you. You've kind of cleared a path on the way down here anyway. Um, and yeah, you, you start making your way. Do you just go straight back to the ship or do you just detour yeah, yeah. anywhere else? I don't think, uh, don't reason think there's any well. reason they would even contemplate detouring. Yeah, yeah. Well, none of us have a reason. Back. Let's not do it. Yeah, cool. But. Cause I'm about to, cause I'm about to drag back a you zombie bitch. and see how they they found, oh, no, okay. see how they came to be. It's up to you. Do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah. I want a zombie. I want a zombie to see to oh, study. Oh yeah, that means once per day I can make it ramble. <laughs> there we go. Long I hope. So uh, yeah, you can like, you, you, like as you get onto the elevator, um, to head all the way back up through the levels, you just. I mean, kick out two of them and leave one in it, I guess, because I think only one of them isn't yeah. burnt, Sir Crisp. So, cool. Because I think you just you did burn them. So what? Like you've probably got a half a half crispy, a medium, a medium, to to rare. Slightly singed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. zomboid thing. And uh, yeah, you start heading up the levels, and uh, as soon as you're in the elevator, like Shakos kind of like leans against the wall and kind of catches her breath for the first time, and she's like, you know. We need to stop meeting like this. 
Lyco. And this is the first time she's probably called you Lyco straight up. Normally it's Quint. Uh, I mean, I, I don't do this often. Jester's around to the ruin. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, she just kind of smirks a little. You can see like she's doing that thing where she's trying to be that playful, like, happy-go-lucky droid that she normally is, but it, it's, it's yeah. a toughie. Uh, she kind of just slumps against the elevator wall and she's like, I just need a minute. And then we click, unless MD is desperate to say anything to each other in the elevator. No, mm -hmm. I think we're good. Cool. Mm, good. We switch back to Next 5. So, yes. Next 5, you walk through the door. And I walk through the door. you're in a completely black room. Okay. It's a a very hard, like black glass kind of floor to it. I, when you walk, it doesn't really necessarily feel like you've went anywhere, but you hear like your footstep, and it kind of echoes a little bit, and then you you kind of walk again. But again, it doesn't really feel like you've moved. You have no perception of I've moved forward, except the fact that you've moved your legs, um, and then they're just like glow from behind you. What do you do? Sorry, I lost that last bit. Yep, so you walk in uh, yep. to the room. It's all black. Glass floor, like a black glass floor. Every mm -hmm. every step echoes a bit on the glass and you don't feel like you're actually moving anywhere. And then there's a glow from behind you. Uh, I dodge and turn around. <laughs> so like you kind of duck to the side, yeah? Yep. And uh, you turn around. And Alice is standing there, kind of looking at you, a bit confused. Alice. Um, and she looks at you and she's like, I know you, right? And she like kind of like leans down on your level as if this is obviously what you do. I stand back up straight. And she looks up at you and kind of just stands back up as well and she's like, Are you next five? Yes. Oh, good. You have memory issues. Oh. And she's like, how would I know if I did? And then she kind of like, look, does that confused look to the side with her tongue sticking between her lips? Like, hmm. She's like, you came for me. And she kind of looks like, happy about this. Of course I did. And she kind of just looks and goes, of course you did. As if, like, she's, like, laughing at this fact, you know, like, this is kind of amusing to her. Um, and she says, she, well, actually, I think she leans in a bit, and she, like, does that thing to kind of gesture for you to lean in as well. You've got, like, clearly nobody else here. Mm. I lean in towards her. Do you know the way out of here? No, but we will find a way out. Okay. And then um, she puts like her hand out, just like down to the side. I take her hand. Yeah, and then I think at that point, from the audience's point of view, all of the green that was left in your LEDs is now white. As soon as you take her hand, and then the both of you just kind of like walk off into the darkness. And we end the session there. Ah, a war. <laughs> what? A war. <laughs> so, uh, congrats, Zig! You've killed two androids. As they roll into the darkness. Stop it! Before we go any further, let's do the name of the session, right? So let's cover the name first. Judas Zig. <laughs> Well, I put in Lyco in the shell because I thought it was funny. I also liked Circuit <laughs> because you went uh, down and back up, um, which is a circuit, and there was a lot of electricity and a lot of Android stuff. I thought Circuit was pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I'm up, up for suggestions. Short Circuit is not a bad option either. <laughs> um. um. I don't know, I'm trying to think. It's like really dead weight because of the dead people yeah. and a lot of Zig feeling like he's dead weight. Um, is... I quite like that. 
I'm trying to. And think. because a dead guy talked. <laughs> um. Oh uh, shit! What's there's a term that I'm trying to think of, and it's just not coming to me at all. What about dead beak? Since they're cops, so like we're on the beak. <laughs> Try, like, the no. of dead people. <laughs> no. um. <laughs> I like that, right? <laughs> could be. Oh god, no! There's uh, there's something I'm trying to think of, and it just isn't coming to me. Mm. Um, something related to like maybe software. Okay. Um, uh, but it's not, not vaporware. It's it's <laughs> something that reminds me of the freeze vaporware. Okay, interesting. I, I got know. there from it somehow tied into dead. I don't know what I was trying to think of. I'm quite tired. Hmm. Deadware. Um, nullware. I think, nah. I think I'd give up on that. <laughs> uh, what's the what's some the thoughts in on the name? What are we picking? Oh, is that all the suggestions are? For me, it's either short circuit or dead weight. I like them both. Yeah. I mean, we can have both, right? Mm-hmm. We can have a short circuit, short dead circuit. weight. Wait. Or we can you have dead weight. Me. I gotta say, yeah. Short, you, dead circuit weight. You came for me to get one. Yeah, you got there first. <laughs> well. <laughs> Receiving's good. Ah, you got there. Say that again. We could have got that. You could have said that. Better fallacies. We've got to stop beating ass as well, and then yeah, because then the both of them would have said it. It would have been good. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's just edit this. Right. We'll go back a bit. No, I'm kidding. Nah. All right. So I think yeah. Like obviously, like circuit and short circuit. Because I said them. Dead weight is a good one as well. I don't mind combining some of these either. I I also think you came for me. Is a good one to be honest, Alex. That was a good shout mm-hmm. um, because it does apply to both. The whole point was you were on the way to get Shakos, and Nix went and got Alice. As far as he's concerned, <laughs> yes, where we are. Uh, Who knows? Big damn heroes. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, lower levels is an option, but let's stop adding options, maybe. And pick between. Yeah, I, 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 think came for, I think it came for me. It's pretty good. Like, because it's kind of. Yeah. A uh, couple of both objectors. Of both type groups. Mm hmm. Yeah, that seems like two votes. That's good enough. Uh, so it's you came yeah. for me. Right, goals. Let's deal with goals now. Always believe in your soul. Oh. You're indestructible. You walk on the moon. Are we indestructible? Have we tested that? We're indestructible. Are we, are we humus or are we dancing? <laughs> Uh, my probably would be dancing. Miss Dean is <laughs> Gord Vidal. Always. Uh, yes. oh, oh, I don't know, I give up on that joke. Goals. Yeah. Yes. Yes, goals. Well, my immediate goal is quite resolved. Yeah, you can move that down to the completed list. You're doing well on the goals front. I am a fucking goal crusher. I am the goal boy. Although your your other goal, live, is quite a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> it's long term, I admit. <laughs> but you know what? I intend to be long term. <laughs> oh, I should find out an opportunity to get my favourite artist quote in. <laughs> you know the one? I mean, go for it. So uh, when he confronts Uther when he's trying to steal his, uh, he's stealing his dad's urn for. Use it for using in the ritual to resurrect Kalthazad, well, to raise him as Lich, um, and he confronts Uther and Uther says I hope there's a special place in hell for you or something like that. Arthas uh, re- responds uh, we may never know, I intend to live forever. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I just think it's just a fantastic little quote. I like the fact that he doesn't deny the fact that he would go to hell either, though, so which is good. Yeah, he, but anyway, it's because, like, aside he, he, talk, he, aside. Sorry, sorry, goals. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we've done yours, definitely. Uh, whomst else? Uh, mine's hasn't finished yet. So mine's is hopefully fun. close to be finished. If we can save fucking Nick's note, that's fine. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> the best thing is Nixon's you're going to get onto the ship and SK is going to be there and then Nix is going to be dead. <laughs> and it's going to look so <laughs> touch. <laughs> I'll just prep combat for you guys again next week, don't worry. Um, <laughs> use versus SK this time. Against the wall again. I mean, you've, you've levelled up since then, right? Maybe you'll dodge it this time. Um, Maybe I will. Maybe I'll hit her on the way by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you weren't far off booting her that time anyway, from what I remember. Uh, right, okay, so... Keep party safe while on Absalom. It's still ongoing. Um, I would yeah, say it's still ongoing. You have so far held up to that though, because you did stay and fight the robot that was attacking uh, Lyco. So that is at least I mean, an ongoing thing. Yeah, hopefully. We but get that. the problem is you're still on Absalom, so it's still active. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So we hit that jump button and get off Absalom and say it's not finished. Yep. Hey, uh, Nix. Um, I mean, process. yeah, we're so close to being there. Yeah, I would say like you have some interesting missing steps before that goal is completed, but I can't wait to find out what they are when they appear. I've got all the basic ingredients. Mm -hmm. I just need to figure out how to smash the eggs. Yep. Yep. And uh, what lays yeah. them? Yep. Gun. Uh, <laughs> uh, gun. <laughs> Uh, and uh, Zig, laser. Zig, yours changed there. What, like, what was it before yeah. that? <clears throat> it was um, make make up for uh, um, killing the pilot. But now that I've killed Nix, I feel like making up for killing Nix <laughs> is more important. And, and as I said, like these goals are definitely set by players for their character. So it's not like Zig yeah, yeah, needs not, to this know. Is not, yeah. yeah, Zig yeah. doesn't need yeah. to know that. Uh, I, that's what I assumed. Yeah. yeah. I prefer that because it's how you want to level your character and guide your character, and Zig doesn't necessarily have the capacity to know how to guide himself, as we have seen. Um, so yeah. Clearly. Okay, cool. Um, uh, what I'm going to say then is we will hold off leveling up because I still want at least a goal completed from everybody before we level. That's still something I want to do, but I think what we'll do is we, we'll probably be jumping to, like, Seven or eight, depending on how longer, how much longer it takes, and how much more you have to fight. So we'll skip level six altogether, um, and we'll either be hitting seven or eight, depending on when you can complete goals. Okay, dokes. Mm -hmm. But like, yep. really, is putting in the time here. Uh, that's yeah, th that's three he's goals. Much he's better at picking goals. Get, get, get him to pick goals for you. This, this time yeah, you did. This you did this good. This was a good Lyco session. Yeah, um, especially the last hit as well. Play. Just clearing the doorway, being like, nope, sure cause. <laughs> um, I'll get a twofer. I'll get a twofer by the time we've got one level up. Mm -hmm. I'll be one behind, yeah. hopefully. But yeah, we might end up hitting... We're definitely going straight to seven, I think, as the next level. It's definitely something, but I don't know if we might just jump to eight. I think seven is what we're going to be next time, but we'll... It would be interesting, usually, for me. Yeah, I think that's why I'm going to go for seven first, because I don't want to jump too much. Yeah. Um, but I will wait for if we can get a goal from Nix and Zig completed, that'll be good. Uh, and then we can hit seven. Good, good, good. Uh, right, that's that goal's done. Uh, let's start with. Uh, I need to figure out a new one. You do indeed. <laughs> if you, you, maybe you can do that at the start of the next session, or now if you've got an idea. I think I think that would be better because I haven't got anything immediately coming to mind. So let's do it the next one. Yeah. Cool. Um, unless it's just a <laughs> was it Avenge Alice? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Save the cheerleader. And I do apologise. I don't know who's going to do the autopsy on this dead guy, but I mean, <laughs> um, who's got physical sa next? <laughs> yeah. It's Isn't a it? cyber zombie. <laughs> it's a life science. <laughs> don't worry, I feel good for life science too. It's also not a cyber zombie. I thought it was. Oh. Nope, the one he took back was a uh, just a zombie. Just a, just a zombie, yeah. Don't worry, I'm good at all science. It's yeah. a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know a little. Actually, roll a d roll a d seven, uh, Zora. We'll see what race you took back. Okay. Uh, That's something we'll do before we uh, we do our cooldown. So oh, d uh, Four. You got a four. One, two, three, four. It's a Lashanta. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> that's fucking. Yep, that's... it's a Lishanta. Can you roll a DE2? Uh, okay. Actually, roll uh, 2D2. I feel like something's happening here. Uh, please, it's probably like a female male or something like that. 1 1. Uh, 
Uh, right, okay, so male and uh, the bulky one. So now there's two There's two types of Lashunta. There's the bulky ones and the the more psychic -y ones. So okay. this is a bulk. So let's write this down. So bulky, bulky male la shunta zombie. God, that's a whole lot of stuff. Uh, right, okay. So session twenty seven. It's right, okay. Uh, with that, let's do cooldown. Zora. Um, I joined not missing all the time. I don't know. I did miss a lot, but that's fine. I probably hit me on the actually missed. Um, it's, it's good. Um, you did actually, no I thought you did okay this combat. Uh, you did miss a few but then you did fire a lot, right? And then you yeah. just, you, you did nuke twice, so that was, that was reasonable. I emptied like a, a 40 capacity clip practically, so kind of, kind of work out. Um, uh, so I, it was nice getting some stretchy legs. Um, I enjoyed Nixie's interactions, um, mm -hmm. as per usual. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Nixon in weird space. Interested to see how he gets out from um, wherever mm. he is. <laughs> mm. Nexus. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird place, right? It's a weird yeah. between place. And then he went to another place. Which is where he needed to go, apparently. According to maybe himself. Mm. <laughs> it's one of my games. You oh. know it was going to be weird somewhere. And it wasn't just all for Zig. <laughs> it's a fair combat heavy rounds. Um, yeah, well I wanted it to be because I'm trying to throw in some more combat for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. Just in general. Like, I enjoyed it. It's good. It's just obviously a shame that when you split up that way, I always feel bad for him. Like, okay, so Alex gets to enjoy a whole bunch of it because it's shit, and uh, the rest get to shoot stuff. <laughs> yeah, but my main artillery strike was gone. Yeah. But you did well. You did well. Um, anything else? No. Well, I'm sure there is other things, but feel to come to mind. No, it's nice to see, as I say, the fully armed and operational uh, Vesk Solarian. It's good. We're well, actually doing something. Although it is so funny because it's like the Obsidian Star training mostly involves cool, have cool, stealthy black armor, and then just burst sunlight constantly, flare people's faces, explode fire everywhere, supernova, <laughs> laser pistols. <laughs> and you're like, I can see why you're in the diplomatic corps. We get it, we get a possession through the dark armor, and then we just explode. <laughs> <It's like laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Obsidian Star, exactly. <laughs> um, I love that name, so good. Uh, what about you, Alex? How, do, how did you find this week? I thoroughly enjoyed the Ace Essential Shrine. Yeah, good. That's what I came here for. <laughs> That's what I think it's Yeah, um, it has been good. It's actually, for me, it's been really natural to help develop that plot with you. It's been quite fun for me. So thank you yeah, for that. Finding Nick's Five's humour as well. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> Yeah, weirdly, the audio issues only when you turn to talk to me. Yeah, <laughs> right. It was fine during the entire time you were running the combat. I know, I did say it ah. when you were away trying to sort it out, and then uh, I was like literally saying, This is just why couldn't this have happened for the combat? Very little has to be said in combat. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, as soon as you said my name, it started cracking. It's like, This is a sign. No, oh, no, no. Yep. Yep, it's quite funny. There was a <laughs> tiny bit of it that crackled. It was brilliant. Good. T thank you. Thank you. Um, yep. Yeah. No, I'm, um, I'm glad you're enjoying the journey that you're character on because I'm trying to give you all a different journey, as you may have noticed, while keeping you the same. But I sometimes feel like I am running like four different games, which is fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. It was just seeing the others in combat again. Um, it's some very nice, pretty efficient combat actually. Yeah, it's it's been really get the hang of it. snappier as well, and I think it does help having this compendium. Like that definitely helped. It, it's nice to just type in the word mm. you're looking for and getting an answer without having to wade through stuff. I have enjoyed <laughs> this. Um, I did spend about ten fifteen minutes while you guys were in combat mm -hmm. delving down the rabbit hole because there's no specific thing saying when you're prone you can't move your speed. All right, cool. It's just implied that it's implied that crawling is all you can do. Mm. But being typical Starfinder, vague and uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I discovered that they errated it in Pathfinder to make it explicit mm. about seven years before they released Starfinder. 
right? They're really good at this making <laughs> shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I really hate the fact that Paizo are really good at making really interesting settings, but yeah. they need to give the maths to somebody else. Honestly, no, they don't. They need to learn from, <laughs> even though you maybe did a bit of a racism recently, uh, <laughs> tweet and, and, and take the approach of just looking at the rules and, and going, uh, maybe does X. There we go, that fixes it. Because it does <laughs> fix it, because your players are going to homebrew everything anyway. Yeah, let's face it. Yeah. Although I've been, I've been doing my best to not homebrew specific like things you deal with. If that makes sense. Um, whereas in my mm -hmm. other game, that's the players have nice. a lot of homebrew crap. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've I seen this one easier. Making those mistakes. Yeah, like it's it's fine as well. I actually think um, with more digital support to remove all the headache that the actual system has, I think it will be good. Like, see when their character mancer is fully up and supported, I think the game will become quite a strong viable contender to be a fun sci-fi setting for people um, yeah or I, even, I think that would help a lot even just a natural progression from a, a Pathfinder game into this would be interesting because um, see if we had the scope to make this a, say an 8 player game right and we could take 4 people from a pre-existing Pathfinder game into this that mm. would be super interesting from a plot point of view of people pre-gap you know? Yes, thank you, Zik. Um yeah. you know, <laughs> People pre-gap, like, appearing in the campaign, blah, blah, blah. I just have no intentions of ever doing that, plus also finding four people that were also in a Pathfinder game, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, any more thoughts about the game? <laughs> um, I look forward to us meeting up again. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Enjoying the keep moment with Alice as well. Yeah, it was nice. The opposite yeah. of walking off into the sunset. Yeah, like walking into the blackness yeah yeah it's nice <laughs> it's very nice um the so weird thank you. mirror reflective pool type stance thing yeah it's good so um also for everybody clearly desperate to know the answer uh is that white water similar to the white pool zig looked into you're damn right it is you're mm. damn right it is um, same spooky bullshit mm-hmm uh lyco colin Hello. He's gonna get another girlfriend, and he would miss. Yeah. Anyway. Um. <laughs> so yes, I, I enjoyed <laughs> some uh, particular moments where we're gonna kill things. That was great. Mm -hmm. Um. It was fun seeing a bit of a return to the what I'm in my mind calling the white zone, which mm -hmm. I now realise sounds bad. Mm. Um. <laughs> also reminds me of. Um, did anyone read Sex Criminals? Oh, I still Sarah's still got that book. I gave her that years ago. Anyway, um, <laughs> hello Sarah. <laughs> you you know Sarah. Hi Sarah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, give Colin back um, his book. So yeah, um, uh, that was there was Whack. a thing. They had a thing in it. I'm not going to explain the plot. Go read it. It's quite fun. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, that was cool. Nice to see that. Nice to see Query. Mm -hmm. um, also, Alex loved that line. Mm -hmm. It was um, <laughs> it was it was very Spider Man. Mm. <laughs> I think I think I, th I think it was it was it was very Spider Man. What for someone called it, Query? You're not very good. At, or it's like I know why you're no, called so Query. Yeah. Yeah. Query not ants, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the that was good. Yeah. The snarky, clever line mm -hmm. that certain types of character get to say, and it was fun, especially from someone who's normally flat. But that's what someone with that someone who's is really good more though. Literal than him. Because that is what I liked about the scene, and it's something that I was going to speak about once everybody been done, but since you brought it up, I'll jump in now. Uh, it shows that Nix 5 is actually evolving beyond the limitations mm. of shit charisma androids. Um, like, it is, it's good. Charisma. <laughs> um. You mean guns! <laughs> uh, I, I just really enjoyed um, that, that, yeah, it was, it was a way to illustrate of the two of them, mm. he's sort of more like us, mm. uh, and so that does make you wonder what exactly Query is, because he he seems to be, as you say, further down the line. Mm. But does that mean he sort of regresses in terms of his humanness, not humanity, but his his, his likeness to humans? Um, yeah, his humanness. Because you you would you would you would say that I think from the interactions we've had, 
one of them definitely seems more mechanical than the other, and it's not the one that appears more mechanical. Mm. Um, I would say that despite his inflection being a bit less flat, um, Query, Query has a, a very sp particular and rigid way of addressing things. Like, he deflects until he gets what he wants to ask, and then he answers. And you could see, oh, that's not computer-like. Mm. But it is. He's disregarding the input that he didn't recognize, right? You know, you, you could see it any way you want. And I think that's interesting because it allows multiple interpretations of the character. It's like a softer UI. Instead of it just not doing anything, yeah. it gives you a reply saying, have you tried asking it this way? It's, um, yeah, thank you. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. But, so you can interpret them in a couple of ways. You can look at them and you can see... Oh, he's obviously, look at his appearance, look at the fact that he's sort of dodging questions rather than just giving a really, really literal answer, and you can see he's more human. Or you can look at it the other way, and I think that's really interesting and really fun. Thank um, you. So yeah, it's it's also Clippy's final nice form. Nice. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, what else is good? What else is good? Um, well, I appreciate the uh, the appreciation of uh, my NPCs. <laughs> What else would I enjoy? Sorry, my brain isn't really working at full speed. Um, it was good. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank you, people. Yeah, and I think as well, for me, it was a nice balance of chucking in a bunch of story that is relevant to you guys and progressing the existing, oh god, we want to get out of this station that's falling apart and fighting in one session. We got a bit of everything, to be honest, which was nice to be able to do. It was good to that we, we sort of came across a bit more competent in the fight this time. Even though there was only two of you in the first half, like the bigger yeah. fight, there was so only I, two of you. It was unfortunate that Calum, you sort of had to like make a wee bit of a disappearance for a bit. That yeah, was sorry, actually, boys. But you were missed. Um, glad to have you. And uh, obviously, it does kind of limit what you can do. Got my glare down, but it was good fun. And uh, yeah, it was nice, like especially seeing like the captain get mm -hmm. to actually show off a little bit, because things haven't always quite gone our way in combat. Yeah. No. One. But, no. Yeah. but yeah, mostly it was the blur of you stabbing lots of things, him shooting and then smashing with his flame mace thing, and then exploding multiple times, and again, all in under a minute. So I mean, that's kind of scary. Very scary. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, when you look at the time scale, because there's a tendency, I think, to forget this like, when yeah. you're dealing with games. Because it feels like it takes a certain length of time because that's what it took you. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, in reality, we kind of aced them in a yeah. fairly short amount of time. And they weren't specifically low level, like, just for maths, the basic zombies were CR1, and then the the thing that used the, the cyber zombie thing was CR3, that she could work out from its explosion thing, because it did plus 3 damage. Uh, and then the thing at the end was a CR4. So, yeah. I think the, the biggest thing, the biggest difficulty was the thing at the end, I would say. Right? The one big one. So... Yeah, for sure. Uh, Managed to clear out the small ones pretty easily. But even with that, you should have killed that other thing quicker if it wasn't able to heal. So... But that's... Mm -hmm. yeah, we, still, we still dispatched with it. Yeah, pretty damn quickly. quickly. Um, I could have got the data turn quicker as well. Thankfully, it missed that turn. Cause well, I've none of us went all out in it, right? Like we, mm. we still had stuff that we didn't use. And Zig did throw a flare over his shoulder. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Um, anything else to add, Colin? Before I move to Zig. Um, fuck the police. Thanks. Fuck the police. <laughs> These uh, views do not reflect the views of Tales of Triumph as a channel. Um, Just all of the players. And if you are a police officer uh, watching this... Uh, I thought I had to counterbalance my uh, my, my previous alt-right uh, talking wow. points. <laughs> so, what he's trying to say is oink oink. So if anybody wants yeah. to take uh, Lyco's place in the game, uh, <laughs> please uh, comment uh, below and we'll get to you oh, in the next don't game. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> next, next week I'll have more of that. <laughs> next week. <laughs> commentary, uh, it'll be great. It won't, it won't. I didn't do that. So, looking I'm, I'm a good guy. What about I'm you, Callum? What about you, Callum? Callum, are you there, Callum? Do you have some thoughts, Callum? <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> no. sorry, Sarah, you're not a twat. Um, I hope you enjoyed the book. <laughs> I don't even know if she fucking read it. I haven't seen her in a couple of years, I'll be honest. With you. I mean, she might have enjoyed it as a, like a fine coaster, 
You know, like it's. Wow, I would be upset with that. That's anyway, why you my Callum, share um, your thoughts. Yeah. Uh, Probably gave it to husband or something. To be honest with you. I I enjoyed I enjoyed a little bit of combat. It was fun. It was fun to fight and mm-hmm. throw some shit and do some shit. Even though I didn't do very much, um, I did a little bit of damage. I think. You did um, some, yeah, you did your your shooting stars and your hurled force. Disc I was pretty significant. Yeah. Both love and hate the <laughs> whole Nyx scenario right now. Why did you kill me? Tell, tell us this. Talk us through this. Perfect. You love hate it, right? Let's start with a. I love hate it. Why do you? Why do you hate it? Let's start there. Why do I ah. hate it? Firstly, okay, right. Right. So you killed Alice. This is this is this is Callum talking. This isn't Zig talking. I am really like upset that I killed Alice. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty upset, but oh my god, I think I'm going to cry tonight because I killed Nick. <laughs> 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 I loved the whole. I loved the whole scene. Um, I loved how, even though you know the, the just the small things, like the small little descriptions that um, mm. Nix was giving. Well, Alex was giving, I guess. Um, <laughs> I, I guess I'll give you credit for what you said. Um, but you know, like little things, <laughs> like um, you know, even though it was like a wireless hack, you know, he'd still had his hand on the side of her head and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, the affection of it all. Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was really sweet, and then. He, Fucking died. <laughs> Inconsiderate piece of shit hardware. <laughs> oh, How do you think I feel? Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, um, right? No. Okay. Um, so I'm, I'm really, I'm really kind of upset about it. <laughs> but I'm a real sucker for all the um, existential. Um, Pain um, <laughs> that comes from it. Ah, life. Um, life, yes. Finds a way. Um, I don't know. I just really enjoy all that. You know, you know, I love the whole psychic jank nonsense. Mm-hmm. So the the fact that our little android friend is kind of lost in some sort of weird non-space um, yeah. is, is is very pleasing. No space or something. Yeah. But n- yeah, null space. <laughs> Yeah, white zone is calling, keeps <laughs> calling it. <laughs> the white zone. I also really love like the the sort of um, symmetry between that and the the sort of um, whole um, lore spire thing where I disappeared. Mm. Mm. Um, Do you, you remember what happened at the end of that lore spire God. scene though with Nyx? Maybe. You got even more lost. So not not specifically Zig, but Nix. When I went back in. So, yeah. Do you remember? Yeah, and uh, it turns out Query isn't really part of the default lore spire. What I mean is, do you remember who else you saw in the lore spire? Oh, Alice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mm. It's almost like mm. planned this. Right. <laughs> How dare. Yeah. How Jeez. could I possibly um. plan this? <laughs> How could you possibly plan this? I, um, I have no idea, actually. Just, again, luck. Sure luck. <laughs> those big 20s. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Swinging low with those big 20s. <laughs> um, yeah, anything else, Zig? Um, I, I, do you know what? I find more and more, um, as each week goes by, and I get to ponder it further, um, I'm really enjoying how different all the characters are. Hmm. And how they're still somehow just like that little bit connected to each other. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like I definitely think we hit the Guardians note perfectly. Like it's a f- like we've said it yeah. a lot of times in our, our roundup chats, and I think more and more I think about it, the more it is so true. Like we when I first suggested the game, I wanted a bit of a flippant Guardians of the Galaxy vibe, and then obviously I, I do my usual, which is heavy plot straight away, and then yeah, you. S- you have done it. Like you, you are all playing super individual characters that all fit together. It's a jigsaw made up of connected jigsaws, and it does, it does I make all like a jigsaw of gingerbread men. Yeah, that somehow interlock. Yeah, um, so don't get them wet. Is what we're saying. Mm, it does feel like you pull the characters from four different games. Yeah, and I'll, as I yeah. said earlier, like it does sometimes feel like I am playing four different games. Anytime I focus on an individual. 
a lot of I've realized um, I have ideas in my head for characters that never happen and I always have long before I did RP mm -hmm. um, this is something like I when I'm coming up with uh, characters in WoW I actually put thought into like who are they what's their backstory mm -hmm. and my uh, main throughout Legion was an undead rogue De Quincy mm -hmm. there's a little bit of De Quincy in Lyco they're, they're pretty different but there is more than just that surface level undead rogue similarity De Quincy um, yeah 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 and e indeed <laughs> that was an influence in the name mm -hmm. um <laughs> So yeah, it's 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 interesting because I am to an extent sort of, I'm almost figuring out, like what, I, as I go through this, I'm kind of trying to think like, what is this character, and how does he differ from that one that mm. I've sort of known longer, even though I've never actually role played him. Mm -hmm. I've always had a strong idea of what the uh, Quincy is and what he would do, and. Uh, the one thing they have in common, one thing that's been common to all of my characters thus far is a sort of a pretty high degree of pragmatism but not to the point of outright bastardry um, I think Lyco, despite himself is not entirely pragmatic and I think that's something that's come across with things like going back for Jackos but it is not necessarily uh, an assessment of risk entirely it's not just a an objective thing it is partly like this is my friend you you know there's an instinctual level there yeah and i think that's something that's quite fun because your characters act partly because of who they're with like what decisions would he have made had the party not rejoined them mm -hmm. I, I don't know um so it's interesting like having this uh even to the point of giving yourself enough time to go get her right because yeah. you 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 did do that you sent cindail off to go power the station do you know yeah, what I mean? and so it's like uh, the, the the fact that we all are very different and bring uh, different things out in each other through that party dynamic. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I think just think it's really interesting. It makes for really interesting situations. Yeah, it's been a, a blast. The journey for this game so far has been brilliant. Uh, the story that I wrote has become so much more interesting because of everything you guys have brought again to the table. So it is, it's always something I love about RP, is the people... If I do my job right and give you guys a good footing in the world to make a character, you then can bring more to your character because you don't have to worry about what do I know about this, what do I know about them, how do we know each other, is this normal for us? You don't have to define find like, the find your feet. Because if you go back and listen to session 1 and 2, there's a massive jump between comfort levels of half of you don't know each other, or who you are really playing. Session 2, he's kind of, you have already started sprinting with your character RP, do you know what I mean? So it was quite quick. And uh, then obviously we threw Calamon a couple of sessions on, and he had to play catch up, but then luckily I got to like cement Calamon the world before you guys technically were in the world, you know? So it's been good, it's been good fun. Um, I actually genuinely can't wait to see what the hell this game looks like going forward, because Obviously, I, I'm going to be as surprised as much as you guys, I think. Um, so it'll be good. It'll be good fun. I think, um, Calum, you got anything else you want to add before we recall it? Um, a game? Because, no, yeah. just... It was great. Thanks for being awesome, everybody. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, everybody. And everybody who listened, I guess. Um, yes. Goodbye, you, Sarah. everybody. Goodbye. Good. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.